Hello, let's talk about activities. So let's create an activity diagram and we see we have at this empty project. Let's create an activity diagram. And what we get is activity diagram here, right? So let's minimize frame. And now uh, what you see here is the activity which was created and inside of it is diagram, right? So diagram, activity diagram always represents what, how that activity uh, looks like, right? So this is all, this diagram is always in one activity, right? Because it is representation of that activity and nothing else, right? What you can model the activity, you can see all those elements, right? And that's that activity which we are modeling it in this diagram, nothing else, right? And you see that I can create actions, right? And you see the symbol, right? And the symbol means that uh, at the same time when I create action, I create also another activity. And that's what it's here, right? You can turn this off, so let me undo, right? And this button, automatic behavior creation, allows to turn the, this behavior off. Then once I create action, this action, for example, right? Uh, you don't see activity created. So now I say, like, uh, do test thing. Do next thing. And my work. And then uh, I can create uh, activity file, right? To end this activity, right? So you see that I created actions, those are action elements, and you can check what element it is by going to specification and seeing call behavior action, right? Or go to properties and see that's call behavior action that you select. Those are action elements, and those are created in activity, right? But there's no activities uh, created behind. What if I have like some another activity diagram and want to reuse this activity in my activity? So for example, like uh, let's create another activity or activity diagram, because when we create activity diagram, I get immediately activity created, right? So I now I have this another activity, right? And it will say that, okay, let's uh, concentrate on work. And the end my, my day. Uh, right, so now I have this another activity diagram, right, and I want to use it. Uh, I, I want to use it here in this my activity. So you can, uh, I can rename this activity, right? Meditate, right? So this another activity, this activity. Once you drag it here, you see that you got this uh, column which separates the name of the activity from the name of the action. So whatever is on the right side is the name of activity which you are using here in this another activity diagram in your activity diagram. And what is on the left is name of the action. Here is that action which got created which calls this activity. So I can re rename my action. Wait, uh, relax. It is the name of that activity in context of my behavior. So you see that once I click on it, it follows to that another behavior diagram, right? I can right click, double click and then navigate back here, right? Also, I can go to specification and see that it shows in specification that this is action which calls behavior. That's the behavior, another activity. Could be different behavior, but in this case, and now we could say that, okay, I can model decision somewhere here. Uh, and then I can create an uh, alternative path and I need some rest, right? Uh, and do some work. And then if I meditate, I can uh, come back and merge here that. Create merge here and add to the so now I can see that I am, I have alternative path from here. I go here. I need some rest. I do a relax and meditation here, and then come back. I do whatever this activity it says. Concentrate on work, maybe. Relax and think about work, right? 
and then uh, come back and then I still need to do some meditation or meditate if I'm ready to work I will do the work right so you see that those are independent activities once you drag one activity to another you get this uh, ac action which calls this behavior if you will turn this option on then you create a simple action you get also this activity creator. So that's like uh, to have this reusable activity which you can drag to the many other activities at the same time when you're creating action. Sometimes it is available. And then you do functional analysis uh, and you need those actions later uh, elaborated with more details, right? So for example, like uh, work wallet, right? And you see, I created this activity, which can now have its own diagram. I could select it and create its own diagram and work on that check work quality activity. At the same time, I can use it here. And you see that once I create a diagram, I got this symbol, which means the diagram is inside. This column means that it's the name of activity. It's calling some activity. And the, on the left side is the name of the action. And name of the action is optional, so you can use activity name and then symbol properties. You can change what you see. So, uh, in standard mode, uh, show uh, display mode, show both. For example, you can say show behavior name, so you don't see the action name at all, and you can't uh, can skip that action name. Right? I can put this one at my work to work wallet. I could put it here. do some auto layout. So it looks, looks okay right now. Uh, and last you can execute and see that it does the job as you expected. Ready to do some work? Yes. That's okay. Let's do uh, execute one more scenario. Ready to do some work? No. Need some rest? Yes. Okay, relaxing. So work? Yes. Okay, so everything works as, as required. All elements are used. All right elements are used, and uh, logic is correct.